you think that strategic planning is easy? Excellent work, Descendant. This operation has yielded many results, both positive and negative. Firstly, all of HQ is encouraged by the possibilities presented by the Guide. Although we were unsuccessful in our retrieval of the Ironheart, thanks to the Guide's tracking function, we uncovered the Vulgus Restricted Zone and Alzarok. This proves the Guide's tracking system exists and is operational. However, the ingenuity that the Vulgus demonstrated with their use of the Ironheart was alarming. So much so, that the Magisters requested an emergency meeting with Alpha. In particular, the inversion of the Ironheart ordered by Corral is something we must understand, no matter the cost. From this point forward, HQ plans to adopt the Guide's tracking functionality and the various other information sources they offer as official operational elements. The Descendants will soon be deployed throughout Ingress. Use the Guide to track the Ironheart and proceed with the mission to investigate the inversion procedure. Humanity's full-scale counterattack has officially begun. However, I know you have just completed a difficult mission. Until the official deployment order is given, please go ahead with whatever preparations you need to make. The Magisters have promised their full commitment to support research efforts, so this is the perfect opportunity to request anything you need from Anace. Before you go, Descendant, I have a personal request. Can you retrieve the Alzarok autopsy report from Jeremy? The report was intended for delivery to the Magisters. Jeremy requested a brief look at it, and I haven't heard from him since. I understand things are strained between you and Jeremy due to the recent operation, but I hope you'll do this anyway. Descendant, just in case, I hope you're not disappointed that Jeremy wasn't punished. I actually saw Alpha slap Jeremy earlier. No one enjoys seeing their superior do something like that, but I believe it was a more appropriate punishment than a court-martial. I'm sure that Jeremy has also learned his lesson. you're the only ones worried about Albion? What the? You're still alive? I was just reading the report on Alzarok and thinking, wouldn't it be great if he, you know, killed you? Anyway, looks like he got to experience something interesting at least. A Vulgus redesigned by the Ironheart. Wow. Now, that's an area that fascinates me. If I knew you'd be seeing that, I would have stuck with the operation instead of dropping out. And I wouldn't have been slapped by Alpha. <laughs> anyway, why are you here? I'm in a bad enough mood already after Sharon and her minion drop by to give me a piece of their minds? What? Nell wants the report? Ah, so you're her gopher. You really are something. You can take it and buzz off. You probably don't have time to argue with me anyway. Sharon mentioned earlier that the guide isn't in the best shape. All these so-called grown-ups having fun with their imaginary friend. Oh, get lost. You're annoying me. I leapt between the archae of different descendants in order to find Ironheart traces. I discovered traces in the desert and forest areas, and at that moment, I felt great pain. In human terms, 
It felt like my skin was peeling off and my flesh was melting. Descendant, I suspect this phenomenon is caused by an inversion process. If Corell and Eamon had enough time after moving the Iron Heart, they may have managed to perform it. However, aside from this pain, I was unable to obtain any further information. For the properties of the Iron Heart to change, a tremendous amount of energy would have to be released. Boy, dimension link detected. Colossus approaching. I repeat, Boy, dimension link detected. Colossus approaching. Descendant, a Colossus has appeared. This Colossus? Is it merely coincidence? Can this truly be unrelated to the Iron Heart inversion? The ancestors always removed the environmental value of chance from all variables. They believed all things had a cause and an effect. My thoughts are all muddled. It would be best to focus on the Colossus for now, Descendant. As for the inversion, I will investigate. Classification type, stunning beauty. All descendants in Albion, prepare for an intercept battle. <laughs> They're arriving on the daily! And not just any Colossus, but stunning beauty? Descendants, the Colossi are discerning Ingress through an incomprehensible pattern. Although the expected time of arrival for the Colossus is unknown, the fact that a stunning beauty is drawn here alarms me. Stunning beauty is a colossus which is insensitive to energy. Even during the apocalypse, only a few of them are recorded to have appeared in Ingress. But now, suddenly, one is making its way to Ingress. This is not a situation to be taken lightly. Descendant, I'll send you to the Void Dimension once you have finished battle preparations. I hope the intercept is successful.
Keep it short. Are you ready to undertake? Descendant, you have been successful. We live in uncertain times. But thankfully, the skills of the Descendants remain stable and unchanged. Even if using the word stable in our current situation is embarrassingly ironic. The Dimensional Ball is currently in the worst state it has ever been. Before now, it was almost unheard of for an energy-insensitive colossus like Stunning Beauty to be able to find its way here. We must find the Iron connected to the Prime Hands as soon as possible. Closing the Dimensional Wall is the only way we can achieve true victory over the Colossi. I suppose everyone thinks the Dimensional Wall is the only answer. Are you saying it isn't? I cannot say whether it is or not. As we do not have an Iron Heart, nothing can be proven. You think too much. We should find a heart and prove it then. I'm pretty sure there's one in Vespers. Traces from another Iron Heart have been discovered in a forest in Vespers. I've already spoken with HQ. Let's discuss operation strategies. Come with me. What's going on? Sorry, I know you probably wanted some rest after taking out that Colossus. Anyway, like I said over comms, we've discovered Ironheart traces in Vespers. 
I had business to attend to with the Order of Truth, so I was hunting down some Vulgus there. Suddenly, the guide appeared, claiming she felt the pulse of an iron heart in the area, and then, simultaneously, in multiple areas. According to the guide, these multiple signals weren't byproducts of the iron heart, like Alzarok was. Comparing it with the data we have now, there really seems to be a difference. Now, well, it's obvious, isn't it? We have no other choice but to check every single location she's detected. When I came back to HQ to report on my operation, they told me to take reinforcements. And I chose you. Jeremy makes me very uncomfortable. But I have no trouble trusting you. So, you in? I'll take your silence as consent. I knew you'd accept, even if you didn't actually say it. We'll head to the Vesper's outpost once you're ready. It'll give Dr. Glade time to join us. You're here. I thought you'd be late. We've got a few things to do. We need to hurry. What seems to be the problem? We've received operation details. The Ironheart Pulse has supposedly been detected in this area, but it's impossible to triangulate since it's dispersed in several directions. That's correct, Clay. I can feel it clearly, but it's hard for me to pinpoint its exact position. However, I can confirm it is in this zone. <sighs> we were deployed here to find one thing, and now we also have to find the Ironheart. We'll have to look under every rock in Vespers. Freyna and I were sent here to look for a group of Vulgus, who have stolen RK serum from Jaber and some other descendants. Freyna, Sharon, even I've already had my RK serum stolen by them once. Things will only get worse if we let them take any more of it. Those bastards. They satisfy their own desires by taking everything we humans have. They have to be stopped. If the Iron Heart is underground, then it makes sense that we're detecting the pulse in multiple locations. Not only is 55% of the surface of Vespers composed of slick inside, but this zone has a high distribution of strange looking rocks. It's also one of the few zones where there are ancestors' ruins on the surface, and most of the ancestors' ruins are built out of slick inside. That's why it's difficult to pinpoint the exact point of origin of the pulses. The characteristics of Slick Inside make it easier for pulses to pass through it, which means there's a higher probability of pulses being detected simultaneously from multiple directions. When I analyze the strata, there are spaces that feel empty to me. They are most likely where the ancestors' ruins can be found. All entrances to these spaces emit pulses of similar intensity. However, you will need to confirm in person whether these places are the correct paths to lead us to the Iron Heart. In that case, we'll need to check all the places detected by the guide. There's no way the Vulgus didn't prepare for this. All right, let's spread out and find the entrance that leads underground. That'll split the enemy's attention, so it's a good tactical approach as well. Freyna. I understand there are specialized drones that Albion has created to find the Iron Heart. That's correct. Enzo's so sending the drones here shortly. That is excellent news. Let's begin our search for the Iron Heart in earnest. This is Enzo. I have set coordinates for the scan drone. However, Volga's forces have been spotted in the area. If the drone is damaged, it may make this operation more difficult. Eliminate all enemies within the operation zone. These ones may not pose much of a challenge, but another force is inbound. Prepare yourself.
Even the Volgas know that there is an Iron Heart here. Danger assessment, normal. Defeating this Valgus will force the enemy to retreat. Scan drone has been successfully transferred. If you approach it, it will recognize your receive and activate scanning operations. Descendant, I was able to connect with the scan drone through your receive. I will analyze the geological data that has been collected and narrow the range of potential entrances.
Reanalyzing the collected data.
details with you. This is Glay. I found something. Meet me at the ruins outpost. Thank you. 